Well, hello, and welcome back to another episode of Art Can Talk, where we will be introducing a sneak peek of things that we will cover throughout the week. I'm your teacher, Mrs. Warner. Today our topic discussion is modern art versus contemporary art. Which side are you on? Let's take a look at some modern art, and some of these you may know. Picasso, the old guitarist. How original, a man playing a guitar. Sorry, Picasso, that you went through such a rough time dealing with your problems that you had to go through a whole blue period. Edward Monk, the scream. Reminds me of the Twilight Zone. All I want to do when I look at it is scream. But this guy was totally nuts, and he was scared of everything. Grant Wood, American Gothic. This piece is about an American Gothic house. What house? All I can see is the two creepy people in their foreground, and they don't look happy to see me. You know what all of these artists have in common. They're all dead. And some have been for many years. Why on earth would we want to learn about a bunch of white guys that are dead? Sure, these guys started many art movements that were, that were still studying today, but come on. Move on, people. Stop living in the past and come back to us in the present. And speaking of the present, let's get contemporary, shall we? Faith Ringgold, Tar Beach. Okay, wait. First, a woman is an artist? Huh, please. Roxy Payne, Silver Trees. Or so people thought. Looking more into it, they're actually signals from the brain. Who comes up with this stuff? So did you know any of those people that I just mentioned? Probably not. What do all of these artists have in common though? They're all living and they're still creating as we speak right now. One of them was from Columbus, Ohio. I don't know about you, but I would be more interested in learning about today's artist, not artists from centuries ago. 